Good morning. This is Linda K. And this is class two, number 21. And it's been a month since I made one. So I thought I would get on here and make a black tube video for all of you. And here comes Mr. Buttercup. He is now three years old. And his birthday was on July the 7th, which was on a Tuesday. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have four whips that I want to show you. And there's a hair hanging down. From. I have four whips that I want to show you. And I started a new project, and my hair is being. I'm letting my hair grow out. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I started a new project the other day, and I'm gonna be showing you that. So I will. And there goes Buttercup. So I will get on with it and show you my project that I have been working on. Okay, the first one is called Peaceful Shores. And here comes about a couple. Just ignore that three-year-old child of mine. It's being goofy. Um, the first one is called Pe Peaceful Swords, and it's by Alan Gaana, and here is a picture of it, and it's by uh, Jen Jen Corp. But the designer and the artist is Alan Gaana. So that's what it looked like. And I'm telling you, this pattern is full of half stitches. So I can only do like one or maybe two 10 by 10 blocks at a time per day, Monday through Friday. Because Saturday and Sunday, I work on something else. So here is where I'm at right now. And the top, the top left side is completely done. So now I'm going to work on the right top side. And it's nothing but I'll have scissors and then there's a bird up in the sky somewhere. So I'm trying to get all of the half dishes done. And then the bottom, all of the bottom half all the way across is nothing but regular cross stitch. So I'm doing the half dishes first to get them over with. And then I'm doing, then I'll do the regular cross stitch down the bottom half once I get the half dishes done. The, the the right side for the half stitch is not as bad, so it'll go a little bit easier. And I'm doing this on 14 count white eight, and that came out of the kit. And I'm using the fabric, but I'm using my own threads. And I'm making this for my pastor's wife because she asked me to make this for her. So she gave me the kit. And the only thing I'm using from the kit is the fabric. So there you go. So I will be working on this today. I'm drinking water out of my Pepsi Cola glass I got long, long time ago. And, I, <coughs> and I'm drinking coffee <coughs> on my eat, re, eat, read, sleep, repeat coffee.
cup and my allergies are acting up big time. <coughs> so that's why I'm coughing because I do not have the COVID-19 virus. It's my allergies and I've been taking um, Claritin. So that's been helping quite a bit. And I'm fe feeling a whole lot better th than I have been. So that's a plus. So that whip number one. This is my my uh, main main focus, and I work on this every morning, Monday through Friday, and I do two blocks every day. And my work machine is going, so that's what you hear in the background. <coughs> <coughs> okay, the next one is it's a heaven and earth design uh, power. And I'm making this for a little girl who loves sloths. And here's what it's going to look like when I get it done. And the uh, Artist is Gina Pike, and it's heaven and earth design. And the title of it is Hanging with Some Butterflies Swap. Now I'm doing this on 25 count white Lugana. One over one, full cross. <coughs> I'm getting in the right direction here. Let me get my clothes out of the way here. That's what it looks like. And I love the colors of this. And, and I got three more 10 by 10 blocks to finish. And then I'll be done with page one. And then the rest of it is going to be full pages. This is only part partial page. And I do my own gritting. That way I can take it out as I get to that block. And I'm going to do one, <coughs> one 10 by 10 block at a time from start to finish. This way I won't mess up. So that's number two. <coughs> <coughs> I did take my curtain this morning too, so. And then my third whip. Is QS Library Fury 5 Heaven and Earth Design Chart. And it's by Randall Stranger, and here's what it looks like. And I'm making this for my uh, local library in my town where I live at. <coughs> and I'm doing this on. 28 count white Joblin, one over one, full cross. <coughs> and her wings are confetti heavy stitching. So I'm taking my time with them. And I love how she's turning out. 
Um, I only have one more column to go, and then parcel column on on page three, which where I'm at right now, and then I'll have page three completely finished. <coughs> <coughs> There are um, nine pages all together. That's book number three. Okay, my new start is at called Tequila and it's by Ditch Rubia on Etsy. And here's what it's gonna look like when I get it when I get it done. And I fell in love with this pattern because it's very colorful, it's bright, cherry looking, very, very easy to stitch. So that's what I'm working on. And here is my progress. So I'm on page one and there's four pages to it. And the wording right here, this is a H and then it'll go that way. And and the word is pinch. And I love, love this design. It is so colorful and so easy to stitch. And I'm doing this on 14 count white Ada because I love my Ada. Especially the white because everything shows up so pretty on it. And I'm doing, doing it with DMT threads, two over one, go across. So that is all of my whips that I have been working on and it keeps me busy and what I do, whoops, let me put this back in here, and here's, let's go on, the, uh, what I do is when I get up in the morning, you know, I have my breakfast, coffee, water, and I do something, some kind of chore. And then I will sit down and work on a peaceful source until I get two black, two black done. And then and that usually takes me all morning long. And then in the afternoons, I will work on Library Ferry. And it depends. I may work on that just for the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. Or if I get tired of the confetti stitching, then I'll do like half of a block and then I will put that away and pull out um, one of on my other ones. 
Oh, the uh, butter, the butter, butterfly clock. I will pull that one out and, and work on it in the evening. So, that's how I do mine. And I do not use Pattern Keeper because I have learned from working in a church office that a computer hard drive memory can crash. And I just, my own preference is to use a working copy and I mark it mark my dishes off with a red gel pen which I don't have one with me right now and it's so much easier I don't have to worry about losing it when I get done with the copy I thread it up and it's you know simple easy um, old fashioned I worked in a church office for 20 years and we have lost so many files and stuff on the computer due to the hard drive crashing so that's the reason why I'm just using paper copy and mark off with the red gel ink pen. That's my way of doing it and um, I use all DMT threads. I do not use no hand dye threads. I do not use no hand dye fabrics. I'm just a plain fabric, plain threads kind of gal. So I will either use 14 count or 18 count Ada for my, you know, thing like for my te tequila, tequila pattern type. Stitching. And then for my heads, I will either use 18 count or 25 count. It depends because I'm kind of like leaning for the 18 count for the rest of them that, I'll, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the library fairy is for the library in my town, and the butterfly cloth is for a girl. So that's why I'm doing it on 25 count. And then I got one other one started it's called Daisy Offering, which I'm like halfway done almost with it. I'm doing that one on 18 count. And I haven't worked on that for, for a long time and I'm about ready to pull out and start working on it again. So that's how I do my stitching. And each project that I do has an on box box like this and I keep each project in its own uh, plastic vinyl bag like this I did discover that you can buy these in bigger sizes and I think th this this one right here I got from Amazon and it's 15, the size is 15 by 18 and I got from Amazon. So that's how I keep my project all together and I do not lose anything. I know what the fabric is. <coughs> I got all my flaws for that project. I got most of them on cheap naps. I got my, nothing. I got this. At the Lorraine magnet board, so I got I I have each one of these for each of my projects in the you know in their bags, and I make a working copy. <coughs> I make a copy of the symbols and the colors as a working copy and then I make a working copy for each page as I do them. I don't make I don't make the copies all at once. I do one page at a time. And <coughs> and I have most of them on I all the projects that I'm working on 
except for the peaceful sword I'm sitting that in hand. But the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. But the rest of them I have on feet pants. So that is how I do my stitching. And I do not count my stitches. I do not use pattern keeper. I am not in any of the SALs. None of that. I want to be able to stitch when I want to on what I want want to without counting any stitches and and have and having to worry about it. Uh, you know, on how many stitches that I do. I don't want to have to worry about it. I stitch to enjoy it. I stitch to see it come alive as I'm stitching on the project. And to me, that is what stitching is all about. It's about enjoying it. It's about seeing it come alive. And you don't have to worry about counting or any of that. So, that's my way of doing things. So, yesterday I was going to to uh, make a video, but Mother Nature had, she, she had other plans for yesterday. Cause yesterday we got thrown all morning long, all afternoon, and to the evening. So then I decided, okay, I will do my video this morning. Well, this is Monday, July the 20th, and it's 9.28 a.m. this morning. So, well, I think that will wrap things up. And I want to thank all of all of my new subscribers for commenting and watching my video. Thank you for the returning subscribers that I have. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. I hope that you're staying safe and well. And wearing your mask when you go out. And I hope you all have a very wonderful week of stitching. Uh, just a minute because my child wants to get up on my lap. Come here. Come here. Come here. Buttercup wants to say hi to, to all of you all, and he stopped. He is not three years old. He's my baby. I think he wants down. So I am, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I am planning on making a video every Monday because it seems like Tuesday do not work out well. Wednesday do not work out well. Thursday do not work out well. Friday do not work out well. So Mondays is about the only time that I can actually sit down, make a video, and upload it without having to go someplace. So... Hopefully next Monday which will be the twenty seventh. I will be making a video and I will see you all then. And I promise I will make a video next Monday, July the twenty seventh. So with that in mind, I will talk to you all later. Have a good week. Thank you so much for watching and commenting. I love you all. Bye.